The Big Bang Theory represents the pinnacle of cosmic explanation, outlining our origins. However, the James Watt Space Telescope has discovered something that it completely changes this notion. Neil deGrasse Tyson points out that this telescope has observed black holes from an earlier universe, raising the possibility of rewriting our cosmic understanding. This finding raises questions. To what extent will our cosmic conceptions be altered? The JWST finding seem incoherent to astronomers. Could they have been wrong about the Big Bang or could there have been errors in the measurement? This uncertainty leads us to probe further. The James Webb has detected extremely old galaxies, marking one of the most remarkable scientific achievements. The formulation of the hot Big Bang theory has been one of these achievements, proposing that our present universe arose from a hotter, denser, and more uniform state. This theory emerged as a solid alternative to the initial explanations for the expansion of the universe. In the 1960s, the discovery of the cosmic microwave background radiation, recognized as a primordial fireball, gave significant impetus to this theory. For more than 50 years, the Big Bang has been the dominant theory to explain our cosmic origins, supported by an inflammatory period that preceded it and defined subsequent events. However, both cosmic inflation and the Big Bang have faced persistent questioning by astronomers and astrophysicists. The discovery of massive galaxies in the early stages of the universe by this telescope raises the possibility of reconsidering our understanding of the cosmos. These findings challenge current astronomical models and offer unprecedented insights into the universe in its first few hundred million years after the Big Bang. The James Webb Space Telescope, despite having a short history of less than two years, has already provided extraordinary insights into the universe in its early stages after its formation. Its revelation of large stellar galaxies using infrared tools has been remarkable. Six giant galaxies have been identified from the early stages of the universe, which, if their magnitude is confirmed, could transform our understanding of galaxy formation. These discoveries, published in the journal Nature, are based on data collected by the James Watt Space Telescope. The existence of these galaxies at such an early period, between 500 and 700 million years after the Big Bang, is perplexing, as it contrasts with the current understanding of the formation of the universe, which is approximately 13.5 billion years from its origin, relative to its current age. These findings challenge established perception of galaxy evolution. After the colossal event that gave rise to our universe, the amount of matter in the first galaxies could be three times larger than expected, reducing the need for highly efficient star formation. However, current models suggest an age for the universe of about 13 billion years, in contrast to the 13.7 billion years obtained by other measurements. This discrepancy raises significant uncertainties. One possible explanation centers on the possibility that astronomers are incorrectly assigning some of the observed light from galaxies to stars. It is suggested that this light could originate from gas disks around massive objects, one of the most plausible scenarios. Despite having sighted only a few of these galaxies, astronomers warn the possibility that their presence in a very small fraction of the sky is not representative. This observed strain raises a crucial question. Are these galaxies really as distant as they are believed to be? On the other hand, astronomers at the University of Arizona point out that nearby, lower-mass galaxies may simulate the appearance of distant massive galaxies. Definitive conclusions await further measurements. Most crucial at this time is the absence of detailed spectroscopic data from these galaxies, which could reveal their true distance and potentially allow detection of black hole signals. In a short time, perhaps a few years or even less, the gravity of the situation will become apparent. While we store this data, we explore the theories proposed by astronomers to explain this phenomenon. Some of them speculate 
that an unknown mechanism may be at work at this juncture. One hypothesis suggests that the existence of massive black holes in the early universe might offer a clue. According to astronomers, this assumption would help to understand why massive galaxies show up in telescopes. However, the dilemma arises of explaining the appearance of numerous black holes in that ancient cosmos. There is a controversial theory, advanced by a novel Lorette, that contradicts the prevailing theory about the origins of the universe some 14 billion years ago. This idea holds that everything that exists or will exist will be contained in a dense infinitesimal singularity that exploded, giving rise to everything in our observable universe. This is an elementary simplification of the Big Bang, although for several physicists the duration of 13.7 billion years seems insufficient for the formation of complex structures such as superclusters. The scientist proposes an unconventional idea of the Big Bang. Mr. Roger Penrose, a Nobel laureate in physics, known for his work on black holes and mathematical methods, suggests that the Big Bang was not the beginning but rather a singular episode in a recurring cycle called Wreck. He imagines multiple Big Bangs or eons that will occur throughout the history of the universe, each marking a new phase. Penrose, awarded by the Nobel Prize in 2020, for advancing mathematical techniques that extended over Einstein's theory of relativity, suggests that the universe will continue to expand until all matter disintegrates, triggering another Big Bang and giving rise to a new universe. He stresses that something predates the Big Bang and anticipates something to come in the future. In his theory, called conformal cyclic cosmology, challenges the traditional Big Bang narrative. Penrose points to the discovery of six anomalous points in the sky, named Hawking Points after Stephen Hawking, that indicate potential locations of massive black holes. Despite the difficulty of observing them at the current age of the universe of 13.77 billion years, these points imply the existence of such black holes. Penrose's theory suggests that our universe is neither the first nor the last, but part of a continual cycle that originates from a highly ordered mass that evolves into the intricate cosmos we know. He criticizes the prevailing Big Bang model, arguing that it lacks an explanation for the highly ordered, low entropy state at the birth of the universe, unless events began before the Big Bang. Their 2020 paper published in monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society, presents evidence for unusual circular spots in the cosmic microwave background, the CMB, with elevated temperatures. These data, analyzed from the Planck satellite and validated by simulations, suggest remnants of evaporating black holes from past eons. Penrose's theory of cyclic cosmology holds that the universe will go through periods of collapse and expansion, eventually culminating in another Big Bang. Critics debate the plausibility of this hypothesis because of the difficulties in reconciling the size of the universe over eons and the implications for particle mass loss. While contested, Penrose's theory challenges conventional cosmological perspectives and offers significant implications if proven accurate. It challenges traditional views and highlights the complexity of reconciling different sizes of universes over cycles. Whether his theory constitutes a credible alternative to the Big Bang remains a subject of ongoing debate and scrutiny within the cosmological community. A physicist at Oxford University challenged the conventional Big Bang model based on evidence derived from cosmic radiation which formed when the universe was only 300,000 years old. This view challenges the unusual notion of the Big Bang and raises questions about how large-scale structures were generated in such a short time span. If you liked the video, we invite you to show your support by leaving a like, subscribing and activating the notification bell, as this motivates us to continue creating content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.